I've got two techniques for you today. We're going to create a rainfall card and a water reflection. I'm so glad you could join me today. We are going to create some water reflection for my little chick and bunny. I want it to look like they are standing in a puddle. So I'm using Nuvo Hybrid ink. I wanted an ink that was waterproof because I plan on using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to create the water. So what I'm doing is stamping on a piece of acetate. I'm gonna use this to create the mirror image onto my cardstock. So I'll bring the piece of acetate to my cardstock, line up my critters, and then just gently press that ink onto the cardstock. So I will do that with the bunny, and then we're gonna have our mirror image. When I first started this project, I thought I was going to like the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers as my water effect, but after I ink blended my background, it was way too rich looking in color and the two mediums didn't match. So I ended up going over my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers with Distress Inks. So in the end, it all matched up. But I thought I'd leave the footage in so you could see another option on how you would color up this reflection. For the coloring, I'm gonna roughly color in with similar colors. So I'm gonna use yellow for the chick. I'm gonna use gray for the bunny. I'm gonna grab pink for his ears, yellow for his boots. I'll use orange for the chick's beak and a blue for his boots. Here I'm scribbling some blue onto the acetate and then I'm going to smush that ink right on to my reflection area. I want it to look more like a water puddle. So I thought I would like this, but in the end I just wasn't happy with it. It just wasn't matching up to my background. It was way too light looking compared to my rich background as you can see there. So as you can see, I went over with the Distress ink and it changed the color of my puddle and I like that much better. Now it's time to build up your foam tape. You want to put two layers down so your beads will have enough room where they're not going to be touching the paper. So I did two layers. I have a cloud die at the top and I have a hill at the bottom. For the cloud die, I used a Sunny Studios die, and I'll have that linked in the description box for you. I am going to be using fishing line for this project, and I'm going to string on some beads. You can use sea beads, but the tiny beads will work better. That way you don't have to build up your foam as high, because you're going to put two layers on the bottom and then two layers on top. I'm using an anti-static powder bag to get the sticky off of my foam tape. Before I string my beads, I'm removing the backing to the foam tape so I have a sticky area for my fishing line. So I'm going to take my string and get it lined up as best as I can. If you really want it to be particular, you could make little hash marks with a ruler um, to get everything perfectly straight but I just eyeballed it and it turned out just fine. So 
So we'll continue with this process until your card is completely filled up. Just leave enough space so that the beads don't run into each other. I ended up using some really sticky tape on top of my fishing lines because that foam tape doesn't stay sticky for too long and the wire is really, really slick and it doesn't really want to stick to that foam tape. So I ended, ended up putting tape on top of the wire. I wanted to make sure that it would not come apart. So here you can see the little tape that I'm putting over the wire to make sure it's secure. Um, but first check to see if it works. So mine is working, so yay for that. And then take off all your tape, because now you're gonna add two more layers of foam. We have to have enough space for those beads to move freely, especially if you're gonna have a piece of paper over that. We need the beads to go inside and hide underneath the paper. So I created a hill for the bottom and I created some clouds for the top. When you're done adding all your foam, snip off the wires. Take your scissors and try to snip as close as possible to the foam. I cut down a piece of acetate, same size as my card base, and I'm just gonna lay that on as straight as possible. Now I have a nice foundation to add my cloud and my hill, and a nice place to hide those raindrops. Just adhere your cloud and your hill with some double-sided tape. And now we have a super cool rainfall card. This card is so much fun, I can't stop playing with it. So just add some images, dress it up, and you have a super, super cool card. For today's card, I used our new release, Spring is in the Air. When I saw these two cuties, I knew I had to do a rainfall card for the stamp set. It is just too cute. And watch it in slow motion. Isn't that awesome? I love it. It is just so fun. So I hope you guys give this card a try. It's really fun. It's not my design. I've seen it on the internet before and I've always wanted to make one and now was the perfect time to try it out. And I just love it with the reflection at the bottom. It's just too cute. So I'm going to adhere my little images with some foam tape on top of that acetate. I didn't put any foam tape on their little feet because the hill is a little bit raised. I did some paper piecing on the umbrellas. That was really fun. I think that turned out super cute. I'll add a little bit of liquid adhesive to the bottom to just to stick their feet to the hill. And then I will snuggle up this bunny up to our little chick there, making sure their feet touch in the exact same place as our reflection. Besides playing with the card, the only thing left to do is add some sequins to dress it up. Add some enamel dots, use your liquid Nouveau drops, take out some glitter, dress up your card, and then call it done. This is a labor of love card, but it is totally worth it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and the super fun rainfall card. I hope you guys are enjoying the new release and all the ideas. Don't forget to check out the Inspiration Hop. I'll have that link in the description box for you. We are doing a giveaway as well. So if you leave a comment on all of those videos, you'll be entered into a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to Not Too Shabby. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.